everybody. My name is Andy Barry, and I'd love to welcome you to the episode number four of the World of DVC show. We're going to have a great battle of Disneyland versus Disney World with some fabulous prizes at the end. Daddy, look, a giraffe. chance to build your legacy to go to magical places with smiling faces and value and trust you can see when it's buying or selling renting or lending there's a wonderful dwelling with wishes unending you'll save a lot when you believe so go with the team Ladies and gentlemen, you are now entering the world of DVC, the ultimate DVC destination where magical vacations meet incredible value through exceptional service. Put in your headphones, turn the volume up, sit back, relax, and step into the world of DVC. Just for sure. my jam <laughs> but still not in your That's warehouse and <laughs> <laughs> to the world mm. of dvc yes he's back look who's back everybody <laughs> look who's back where did all the listeners go <laughs> everybody just left it's gonna be your new karaoke song i just want to say first of all i'm so glad to be back so uh, We're thank glad you to all have you back thank you for legally having me back <laughs> i'm so glad um i loved last month's show Thank i just you. want to say i loved it i was in the room over there you were. and listening and then even watching last month's show live in person yes. was amazing so kudos to you guys uh, you guys did great and you. kudos to our, our host. jingle oh, team oh. We're amazing, and Sue, of course, was amazing. So yes. it's great to be back. So thank you, everybody, for coming back to episode, I think it's 104 of the World of DVC. <laughs> Something like that, our long-standing <laughs> long tradition, tradition, episode four. <laughs> episode four. We are so glad to have everybody come back yes. to uh, spend some time with us. We have a fantastic show today, especially for those that are um, maybe uh, West Coast fanatics. Uh, we do, so we're super excited to have uh, a very, very special guest, which we will announce shortly with us. So yes. first of all, thank you guys for being here. We're excited. We've got a great show planned. Mm -hmm. You guys look amazing, as always. <laughs> so. You're always so complimentary. <laughs> well, did you get a haircut just for this show? I did. I know, Yesterday, nice. I got some, some of the hairs are cut. Uh, I did. I got some of them cut. Uh, yeah. Only the gray ones. Oh, I, <laughs> I think it looks great. So I got all of them cut. So yes, uh, you guys look great. So yes, we're very excited to be here. So I think we have a great show plan. Yeah, so, yeah. we do. What are we talking about? We, these pieces of paper are honestly <laughs> being <As> used. <laughs> okay, so we've got housekeeping. Um, right. For those of you who are watching our show, again, if you are watching on YouTube, just make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've added it for you in the corner so all you have to do is click the corner of the screen and you can subscribe that way you get alerted on all the latest episodes make sure you are giving us a thumbs up Make sure you are leaving us some comments. And of course, if you are watching through podcasts, you can find this anywhere you're finding podcasts. But if you're watching on our podcast, then make sure that you are giving us a five-star rating. And of course, leave a comment behind as well. Uh, we did this last show, and I think we're going to continue it for this show. So yeah. the more, the merrier, right? Yeah. So we've got those. In you guys got a lot of five-star ratings last time because I wasn't <laughs> on the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. You got a comment that uh, said, I though, missed Derek. I did? You know what? You did. Yes, I saw that. So far, Who was no that thumbs? person? I don't remember. I love that person. <laughs> we do love that person. I too. got a haircut just for that person, so thank you for saying that. Well, no thumbs down on that no. last episode. <laughs> I know. Thank I mean, you I just have that. to attribute that to just Derek not being there. I um. thought that I was going to get something because you guys kept saying that. If you don't like it, leave a thumbs down or email Derek. Nothing. I got nothing. Ah. Yeah. So yeah. thank you. Very nice. That's good. I think uh, it was just such a fun show last time yeah. because the Jingle Team was here and it was yeah. so much, it was just so steeped in like Disney history and. 
plus then talking about their careers and where they've been and where the with the furlough and the lay, laying off of the entertainment team and now that they're back and right. yeah. oh it just like I know it was that, so crazy uh, yeah. to be like in yeah. the room with these people right. that sing the jingle that oh my god I want to sing it again no, I I'm know. kidding I'm not <laughs> <laughs> to be in the room with those again. people yeah. and to have them and hear their stories was yeah. just like, it was. It was and great. It, oh, and those if you voices haven't watched are not it. like overdubbed at all. Like no. those voices, because we made them sing. Like we right. literally kept saying, sing this. Yeah. Sing that. I told you she could sing a phone book and I'd listen <laughs> yeah. because she is just phenomenal. But if you haven't watched it, and I think we said this the last time too, if you've got little kids that love theater, oh. Disney entertainment, even like Dancing with the Stars and all kind of the Disney shows that come on. I was a Disney parades kid growing up of like Christmas morning and Easter morning. Like that's what you did. Oh, yeah. My parents would be like, get dressed for you. People are coming for dinner. I'm like, hold on, the parade's two hours. And like these are the people that like do that. They put that on. So if you haven't had a chance to watch it, you should watch it because it is just, it's a magical show. And of course, everybody loved story time with Sue and she'll be back on this episode a little later. Yeah, I can't wait because mm-hmm. this story time with Sue is super it's special. Fun. It's um, fun. But in World of DVC updates, super yep. exciting announcement. So if you've been kind of following our World of DVC brands, of course, one of the things that DVC Resale Market has really been known for is our amazing website, mm-hmm. right? I mean, for users, if you're looking for a specific contract, there's no easier way to shop for a contract than going on our website. Just the the beauty, the ease of use, all of that. So as we became World of DVC, we wanted to implement the same thing with DVC Rental Store. Right. And now, I mean, your guys' website oh. is... Dunning. Isn't it? It's yes. so user friendly. It's yeah. very pretty. It's very pretty. There's little ma- magical pixie dust as you move your mouse around. <laughs> yeah. Like it just makes you want to click and move constantly. I it's don't just... like to leave those sites because I want every website to, to have, have the, the pixie, pixie dust. dust. Yes, I know. When I go to Google, yeah. I just want pixie dust. Well, and I think like even for like DVC resale market, if yeah. you go to the team page, you yeah. can see yeah. our fun little gifts. Yeah. And then for you guys, yeah. you get fun characters. We have ears. little ears on Mickey or Donald or Stitch or something. It's yep. DVCRentalStore.com. It is. The, the, the website has come just full circle over the past year especially and um, yeah there's it's just it's just I think it's very user friendly I'm not a tech person at all so no. but I, mean, I know right <laughs> shocking breaking news but so no shocked. I'm not a tech person but even I can just click around its members or guests and book a reservation, find a reservation, yeah. rent out points. It's easy, easy, easy. So yeah, so the last piece of that puzzle yeah. has been Monera. They are the leaders when it comes to financing for DVC. They have right. the lowest rates to offer. And of course, they've added their credit check option. Mm-hmm. But what they're mm-hmm. most famous for is their no credit check option. But now you can go on and you can see cash to close, all your different options right there in front of you that makes it so user friendly. And honestly, if you're financing something, right. you want to know everything, right? You do. All right. the mm-hmm. small print, the tiny details, any extra fees, and all that's laid out so easily. So make sure you're checking out that new website. And of course, if you're looking to finance, that's your number one spot. Yeah, mm-hmm. It is. It's super user friendly. And the team over there is wonderful. They're yeah. just, they're just Disney trained, you know, in so many ways of, of that great guest service. And then DVC Rental Store, um, I want to talk about that for just a moment too with some of the great updates with DVC Rental Store. Head over to DVCRentalStore.com and especially for our members, um, I want to especially call out the cruise swap because we talked about this in one of our last um, episodes and it did get quite a lot of traction. People Years were like, ago we talked about it. It feels like, like years ago, right? Because this is our 149th millionth episode, I think it was. But yes, so the cruise swap is such a great program program and um, I'll show you exactly where to go on the website you just want to go to go to dvcrentalstore.com you're going to click as a member on members you'll see the little drop down box and then you'll see cruise swap program it's so simple that you just want to look through that so what we will do is take your points and swap those out for a cruise now I have been asked a time or two what happens if I don't have enough points and the good news is is you can have kind of a combination of points plus cash which is really well, a and you huge know what? benefit as like a sales guide yeah when we would sell directly people would always be like how many points for a cruise and we go all right here we go it's a lot um, don't not no, worth it right, right. Yeah. Then, i'm having flashbacks <laughs> right. but then working on a like, cruise see, and they guess no. coming to you yeah. saying, yes i love this dvc yeah. sounds amazing but so how many points is this cruise right now yeah. and you'd be like for my family of five and you couldn't it's, do it, partial it's points real for a person. <laughs> right. So that's cool that you can do it's, that. That's right. Awesome. It's it's so great because you can do partial points 
and cash. But, you know, think about like RCI. Yeah. When members, you know, especially when we think about like, oh gosh, it's now July. My points are going to expire, say end of August, end of September. We're not going to travel. What do I do? We still want to take a vacation. But you don't always necessarily want to put them in RCI. Not that there's anything wrong with RCI, but I think we buy into Disney because or we Disney. love Disney. Right. Of right? And so why not put them into a cruise swap program? And then our team with our member relations specialists rent them out for you. You get a little bit of a cruise. Maybe you get some cash if you don't do the cruise option but it's just such a flexible easy way to take these points that you may not know what to do with they might be expiring maybe you have more points than you know what to do with and put them into something that your family could use super smart i really wish great. i had points that were going to expire i know i know but there's so many people <laughs> i wish i had so I many know. points that i'm like i don't possibly know what to do yeah. with these yeah. points so many people do though where they've had right now especially especially right now where they've had to bank and they say gosh we bought 300 points because that worked for our family now yep. we have 600 points yep. right. what do we do with that and so this is just such a great option and we we are looking for members to rent out their points because we have an abundance of guests who say yep. we want to go to disney and we want to stay in these you know the beautiful villas the one two three bedroom villas for less and so they come to dvc rental store and so we want to make sure that we have kind of you know the best of both worlds going on for all for everybody for guests and members that's and, so cool yeah, and that's great. what's so cool is that when we talk to our guests every single day yeah some folks know that i want to buy dvc other right. folks say so can i rent points for a vacation and right. being at the world of dvc i think that's what makes it so amazing is yeah. that it literally is like one-stop shopping it like, is. like you yeah. said for everything you possibly do if you want to rent points yeah. Try it out. If I want to go on a cruise, if I have extra points, if yeah. I want to buy it, how do I pay for it? Yeah. I can finance it through Monera. That's what, <laughs> it's all this little umbrella that we it's have here. It's all this umbrella. And I was just chatting with Janan earlier today, Janan from our wonderful concierge program with DVC Resale Market. And it's exactly that, Derek, that this guest, um, you know, or this now, this member had these points, needs to rent them out. She comes to me and we'll take care of it from there with DV, at DVC Rental Store. So it's such a nice, it feels like Disney again. Yep. You know, I, I, so I, nice. I always kind of talk about how I was an impacted cat member and one of the things I kind of not worried about I can't say but I thought about was oh my gosh as I find something else to do the culture mm -hmm. what is the culture going to yeah. be like where the Disney culture is just so um, I think it's an easy culture for me anyway to fit into and then coming here and working with you two who I've known like a long-standing tradition of like a million years it feels like you know it's just an easy transition and yeah. that's what we really pride ourselves on right. with our guests and members is that it's a one-stop shop so, yeah and yeah. i mean that's what we hope our guests feel too right, right? that right, transition right. of whether they're buying or selling or finding yeah. or renting they are dealing with disney they're always going to be dealing with the disney end of it yeah and we always want that handoff with us to have that right. same feel right <clears throat> and that's where we have a lot of pit sorry I'm holding my greatest dad in the galaxy coffee mug <laughs> you right had here. to find a reason to read <laughs> that out loud right <laughs> did you buy that yourself <laughs> that was a ah, just kidding just kidding oh my god now I'm sad I know I'm sorry <laughs> do you want to sing maybe you guys should do the show alone <laughs> I'm gonna leave but no I'm just that, kidding we love Derek yeah that's what's so funny is that when people come to us and say so I want to sell so when it comes to the yeah. DVC resale market I think one of the biggest things that we want to stress right now is we need sellers, we need you. And a lot of sellers right now may be a little scared and kind of skittish. And that's what goes right. back to so perfectly about what you guys said was, you know what, uh, I don't know, the process kind of scares me and I'm not sure. Are you guys legit and whatnot? So that's what makes it so great is because again, we are all former Disney cast members with literally 1.7 billion years of experience <laughs> of working for Disney. Um, and so we will help you. We will give you that Disney service mm -hmm. without the Disney prices and especially for folks that are looking to sell right now because the market is so strong. So we cannot stress enough, reach out to us at the DVC. We need your listings. We have, I think last time I checked, it was like 95% of listings are selling within 30 days or less. And like, So 99.9 .9 as of last month. 99% wow. uh, are selling? Wow, 0.9. What? 99.9. .9. Last month was 99.9 .9 sold in 30 days or less. So. <laughs> Wow. If you're looking to sell fast at a premium price, this what is the time to do it. What did that point one percent? What did they own? That, <laughs> <laughs> right. Where are they? What yeah. listing was that that, yeah. just, <laughs> that sat there that no one else wanted? But no, please reach out to us um, if you're curious about the process. Uh, Marissa over here recently did a show with our uh, fantastic partners over on the DVC show over on the Diz. DVC fan, you can look them up on YouTube. Uh, DVC fan, type it in. You can look for. Uh, 
Mariska, uh, and <laughs> you will see her show that she just did last week, which is about the process of selling, which again, right. we need you. Again, we wouldn't be here if we didn't have, if we just had nothing but buyers. I know. We'd have a lot of frustrated buyers yeah. because we wouldn't have listings. So if you're a seller out there, reach out to us now. We mm -hmm. cannot stress. It is such a fantastic time to get your listing up, get it listed, get it sold in a record what, 99.9? .9? Is that for real? Hey, listen, <laughs> I win my She wouldn't say she's it. The, she's the fancy sales director, so it's got to be legit, right? Oh, here, it's written down. 99.9. .9. It's got to be real. What do I know? I'm just the greatest dad in the galaxy. Numbers <laughs> don't lie. That's crazy. You should oh have it goodness. like this. So no, there we go. See it. Thanks, Carrie. Yeah, so, yes. So, let's talk about... <laughs> okay. The only reason that people are probably tuning in, Carrie, is, uh -huh. is they're wondering... A, is Derek going to be back? B, who's, who's the special guest? Yes. yes. And then C, what prize are you giving away? Right. Da -da -da. The prizes. Every show, we have our long-standing tradition. Nobody chimed in with me this time. Sorry. Our long-standing tradition of our prizes. And so um, we've given a few prizes away uh, with a little bit of some, we always give you a little bit of homework to do, right? And this time it's going to be very easy. So just go to um, our page here on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, give us a like a five-star rating and a comment and a nice comment and still if you have any questions or comments or complaints you can still send them over to Derek at all right I think that sorry no no I think it's no I'm not interrupting because of that reason I mean I could have done that but I think that's too easy so I think we've already done I think oh, okay. in honor of our special guest oh. of this week's show uh -huh. I think people need to go into why they prefer Disneyland oh, that's good too. Yeah. or okay. Walt Disney World. Oh, okay. So like again, that. on that YouTube page, hit the like, yes. the thumbs up, because yep. the thumbs down, down button doesn't work, so don't even <laughs> try to do it. That. Not on I this show, it doesn't. I disabled it, so sorry. <laughs> thumbs up, leave a comment, yes. ready, on why you prefer Disneyland or Walt, Walt Disney, Disney World. World, because Marissa, yeah. today is all about East Coast versus, versus West, West Coast. Coast. We love them all. We do love them all, but may I just interject for just a moment because we, we don't know what the prize is just yet. Derek so, is on a roll. <laughs> Derek got on a roll and Hold on. Loving me, lovingly took over, which I don't mind you doing, but I think people would like to know. Uh, it's an add on Idis t shirt. Look what's back. Well, See? so many people have wanted them, so they we're going to make it yes, very, very easy to get one. Yeah, so it's very so, easy. Yes. So the add on Idis t shirt. Um, and please email us at info at worldofdvc.com with your email address, your name, your address, and your t-shirt size after you leave that comment. And we will send you a beautiful add-on Idis t-shirt to wear all around the theme parks and get take pictures with your favorite characters. Maybe if you see somebody from World of DVC wandering around, grab a picture. Um, it's breathable and it's very lightweight for this hot, hot summer. So add on Idis. I actually just had an email yes. from somebody who had received one of those yeah. in our, one of our giveaways. Yeah. And she emailed and she was like, I can't believe like how nice this shirt is. She's yeah, like, I just knew it was going to be a t-shirt, but she's like, the quality, it's yeah. super soft, very it nice. She was super impressed. It's I like that she way. was like totally expecting just a really a uncomfortable, really, like, bad, cotton. itchy shirt. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> I'm so pleasantly surprised. Right. I have purchased some t-shirts that are thick and heavy, and in this Florida heat Ugh. and humidity, it's bad enough to have a bad hair day in it. Now you're going to wear a hot t-shirt. Uh, forget it. I'm just going to stay home. But this is very breathable <laughs> yeah. and very light. So you'll love it. So add on Ida's t-shirt. You will just love it. So Look at you sell that shirt. I know, I know right? right? <laughs> We're going to get flooded with If comments. I like clothes that are breathable and easy and, and nice to walk around the parks in, I'll wear it all day long. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Well, Derek alluded to this. So yes. our episode this week is... West Coast versus East Coast. So I think it's super fun, right? Because that's kind of that long like battle of yeah. what's better, right? Disneyland, Disney World, and right. what makes it better. And I right. think everybody has their own opinions. And I think a lot of it is where kind of you've experienced that most magical moment. Yes. Um, so whether that's your first time going to the parks or whether you just had that really special magical experience, mm -hmm. it kind of then imprints that certain it part does. on your it heart does. of like, that's the one. Mm -hmm. So there's always going to be that heated discussion and battle. But we thought it would be fun to have that here on air. And then we can really kind of cover the West Coast side of things, right? Because what's right. so special right now is Disneyland has just reopened. Yes. And oh my mm -hmm. goodness, the stuff going on there with the opening of like Avengers Camp oh. and just awesome. tons of exciting yeah, things going so on. Fun. Disneyland Tower. So we figured we couldn't quite do this show properly mm -hmm. <laughs> with the three of it's us. Um, so we're bringing in the <laughs> big <we>? guns. <laughs> can we do any show properly? I mean, no, we, we attempt to, but. <laughs> we try. Uh, but yes. Yeah. Um, so for this episode, 
episode, we would love for you all to welcome our West Coast ambassador, Mr. Disneyland himself. Is he here? Is he really here? I mean, so we couldn't quite fly him in, but the man, (laughs) the myth, the legend. Yeah, we couldn't fly him in. We're a small show. But better than to go to him in California, right? right. Uh So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Andy from DVC Resale Market. Andy Hi, Barry. Andy. Hey. So nice to see you. Look, it's toy. Let me in. Let yes, me in. he's like in his toy box somewhere in California. I'm in my toy box. <laughs> I gotta play in my own little world. Oh, <laughs> it's wonderful to see you, Andy. Welcome. Oh, uh, thanks for having me, guys. It's good to see everybody out there, myself too. And Andy. So- what what time is it there? Is it really like two a.m. and you're bright eyed and bushy tailed and look at that? It's like I don't the AM. Give away the time so I work because then people start reaching out. To me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's very true. It's like the ABC correspondence when they go from like Good Morning America <laughs> to, to the uh, West to, uh, Coast. To West Coast. Andy yes. is our West Coast correspondent yes. at two a.m. West Coast. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. I started off this morning. Let you guys know I got a call this morning at one o seven a.m. from Newfoundland, uh, okay. Canada. There we go. Wow. It was a nice wake up call to get me ready for the show, which started taping at 2 a.m. <laughs> well, you look great, Andy. You look great. You look like you just spent I, the I, night at the Academy oh, Awards. I, just just to be clear, I, I did get my hair cut for the show. Oh, you did too? Yeah, Derek and I, I, I just got, it was pretty easy to cut mine because as you can see, there's not much there. I love it. I th- does that mean that? Andy and Derek get hair and makeup, and Marissa and I don't. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> I, I mean, we got to work on that. Okay, so Andy, what we would love to do is kind of hear your Disney history, right? Mm-hmm. Like how you started with Disney and how you came to end up with us here at DVC Resale Market. Okay, well, thanks, Marissa. For, thanks for the intro. So I'm going to go back to even further than that, just oh, when okay. it all began. The first time I remember coming to Disney World was in November of 1971. With my parents wow. just a couple weeks after the parks opened we stayed at the contemporary night uh, hotel for one night because that's all my parents could afford and the only thing i can remember distinctly about that trip was we went to the presidential hall we sat towards the back and afterwards you know i was a little, little toddler afterwards after the show i came out to my dad and i said dad how did they get all those guys on the stage at one time <laughs> and he said that's the <clears throat> disney magic from there let's advance the clock many many years and I had a beautiful fairy tale wedding in November of 2020, or 20, 2020, uh, 2002. Sorry, back up a little bit. I had a fairy tale wedding in, at Disneyland in the 2002. Married my beautiful bride, uh, Jolie. And from there, uh, we went on a, um, my prior history, just so you all know, is, is working as a CFO, Chief Financial Officer of Selling Businesses. And how I got involved with DVC was the following. I sold my last business in LA at Taryn Rose Shoe Company. And after that uh, sale, we ended up going on a trip to Walt Disney World and a cruise on the Disney Magic. On board the Disney Magic, we ended up attending one of the DVC shows. And after the show, we signed up for a sit down with the sales guy guy. (laughs) And during that, my wife looked at me and said, well, I just booked a cruise to go to Alaska or you can buy this thing called the DVC for me. (laughs) And I looked at her and said, well, I can spend $20,000 or I can buy the membership. What's the deal? So long story short, we ended up purchasing the membership. And at the end of that discussion, my sales guide asked me if I'd like to become a DVC vacation club guide. (laughs) I looked at Jolie and I said, there's no way I'm doing this. And she said, give it a try. Eight years later, after becoming a vacation club guide, earning a leadership circle, working on the West Coast cruise team, spending 60 hours a week away from my family. You all know that. I wanted more time with my family. And unfortunately, you know, life changes. I had uh, a passing of my my family. You all know this. My dad passed away. And it was at that time I realized I need to do something different. Uh, Reached out to Nick and Nick reached out to me. And uh, we had our discussion and became part of the DVC resale market family. Uh, In the two and a half years I've been there, it's been a great experience. Love working with everybody as I get to work from two o'clock in the morning until uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, sorry, uh, midnight Eastern Standard Time every day. Not many places you can work 22 hours a day. <laughs> That's my. You better story. talk to Nick about your schedule. <laughs> I, I know. I'm trying to figure out how to get a little better. That's my story. I'll stay to it, and we'll go real quick from there. 
I, I, I just can't believe like that's so crazy that like you were on a cruise mm. and I know the vacation guide asked and said, would you like to be a vacation? Like everybody yeah. watching, everybody listening is like, <laughs> wait, what happened? I right. got to get back on the cruise. I want to go on, yeah. that, cruise. Go on exactly. that cruise. Who's that I mean, vacation guide? But what's about, so crazy yeah. is so many DVC employees mm. or DVC cast members mm. that I know from my time working at Disney, a lot of them were members first right. before yeah. they became DVC cast that's members. True, like yes. they fell in love with the membership so much. Like you look at, um, Jurgen or yeah, Pete, yeah, right? right? So like these are old school members who basically just yeah. sold the membership for free for many, many years. And then they go, I live in Central Florida. Oh, right. I'm selling the membership. Why don't I just get paid to right. do this? Why don't I work <laughs> for Disney to do this? Yeah. The power too of your story, Andy, of networking and just having that presence and ease of relationship building, right? Well, I think, and that's it, what makes Andy, I mean, truly so special is yeah. that because I think obviously, and all joking aside, is that vacation guide, obviously Andy saw you mm -hmm. and saw your passion and saw your love of the brand and your yeah. love of Disney and said truly, because that's what makes a great vacation guide right. versus a regular vacation guide. Right. The great right. ones truly have that passion. And I can tell you firsthand, we all know, like yeah. people love Andy. And so that's what makes it great is that he brought his passion and his love of Disney right. over here. And he gets to do it 23 hours a day. 23 and hours. And they get to play with toys all day. <laughs> <Yes. while. laughs> Andy, I heard a story too about you about on the cruise ship, how your presentations, I never had the chance to see you in action, but I've heard only wonderful things. So before you get too nervous, this is a happy story. Um, <laughs> but I heard that you write your name on the bottom of your shoe. On the bottom of my right hand dress shoe is the name Andy. And on my birthday cake from this last year, <gasps> You'll see little Woody's boot <laughs> and Andy. I was if, that say, I just enjoyed if that doesn't win you over and make you cry and say, let me buy points from you, I don't know what does. <laughs> that is. Just I can't brilliant. tell you how many people reach out to me now and say, is it really you from the movies? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, sure, I got to clarify, Andy. hey, that's the Disney magic. Oh, I, love I it. need to start Googling, is there any Disney characters with the name of Derek? Will someone find I that? did. I did. You, you did. know where it is? Where? Okay, so my son. <laughs> She's like some obscure no, 1920s like it is. felt like. So, <laughs> I I mean, I am more of a Pixar Cars fan than anybody probably on the planet mm -hmm. should yeah. be. Yeah. Like, I have the encyclopedia, and I have every car, and, like, my son and I have this obsession of, like, collecting That's them. That's a true fact. True fact. Uh, I mean, we've got, like, hundreds. Like, I'm shopping on Mercari and bidding on eBay, and <laughs> it's crazy. There is a there is a Pixar car named Derek. Is it really? And I will get you one. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you don't have this yet. No, I didn't even I know mean, it he's existed. I extremely obscure. I've it's, always been well, so jealous of Andy. Uh, Leave a comment. <laughs> there you go. Like and the other story you well, you know, Marissa, you're named at, Marissa's named after a character. What? Marissa's named after a character. They just spelled it differently. It's called Merida. There no, we Mary go. Oh, Merida. And Carrie, yours is Cinderella. It, just, it was just easier to spell Cinderella. Oh, is that true? <laughs> Thank you, Andy, Andy Carrie. I've always <laughs> told people that. Now it's official and on tape. So thank you, Andy. Andy was stretching so <laughs> long. I know, I know. Andy was working so hard. <laughs> this is so okay. easy. Uh, <laughs> I see, uh, that's why. How do I make those folks feel special? <laughs> <laughs> call, call them princesses and you've won us over. <laughs> I love it. Andy, that's so, that's so awesome. Yeah, I so, love it. That's all right, I'm looking at my piece of paper here. <laughs> Derek, you get know, with it. I am Welcome the, back. I am the greatest dad <laughs> in the galaxy. We go on to so I'm looking at this. So we are now talking about, ready? Yeah. We're going to go East Coast, West Coast, Andy. It's a, it's a battle. It's a battle. It's a battle. It's a battle. So you're. Well, Marissa, you got to come over here then. <laughs> I know, right? Just in the screen, Marissa. <laughs> like, fly on over. <laughs> Merida, Derek, and Cinderella, and Andy there are now go. going to talk sure. about why they prefer Disneyland yes. or Walt Disney World. So let's go ahead and start with, who wants to start? So I think, Carrie, why don't you start with, again, just maybe a elevator pitch. I think that's what we yeah, like, like to say. Yeah, like we're all in sales, right? right. So yeah. let's sell it a little okay. bit. So we'll go around and everybody give kind of their sales pitch. So you want to pull on the heartstrings a little. You want to give kind of some background. Right. But, I mean, there's going to be a winner, right? And we'll come back next episode with those comments on YouTube mm -hmm. and we'll tell you who the winner was. So... Let the best sales team win. Okay, so here we go. So <laughs> I'm ready. I know. I'm a, I'm not nervous. Are you nervous? No. We okay. Need, like shirts or something. Not. Okay. So my I'm going to go with the East Coast. I was brought up on the East Coast. I'm going to go with Walt Disney World. And here's why. What I love about Walt Disney World is, 
I do love the size of it. We have the blessing of size, and that was one of the reasons why Walt wanted to venture out on the East Coast. Disneyland was his heart, and then he said, you know what? I have so many ideas. We have so many thoughts. We have so many plans. It's, it's too big to contain here in Disneyland, so let's go out east and find a spot, and he found this place in Central Florida. He named it Project X, and it had all the space he needed, 47 and a half square miles, twice the size of Manhattan, and what I love about Walt Disney World for a vacationer is that you can do many things all within like say seven days right we all want to take about like a five to seven day vacation unless you're really you know really going to be spoiled and do like two weeks but you, you could do two weeks here or easily yeah I love having a little bit of everything on vacation I love to kind of have an action-packed moment a little moment at the spa some pool time maybe a little room <laughs> service that sounds maybe- like what you do every day Yes, I want a vacation like I live, exactly. I don't spend too much time at the spa right now, but that's going to come back. But that's what I love about it is right. that you can hit all four parks in one day. You can hop, you know, park hop all around, use the monorail, use the transportation, head over to Disney Springs, eat amazing cuisine. You can also then take the next day and say, you know what, we're exhausted. Our feet hurt, our legs hurt. Let's just order in and spend the day by the pool. You know what? We're done with the pool at 4 o'clock. Let's get dressed and walk over to Magic Kingdom if you're staying at Bay Lake Towers and see the fireworks. You can really just do so much in one day without ever having to rent a car, leave property, go grocery shopping. You know, the villas, the one bedrooms, two bedrooms, they all have the washer and dryer. And people always say to me, I'm not going to do laundry on vacation. You'd be surprised how nice it is to bring home a suitcase that's full of clean clothes, you know? (laughs) So I love that. If you're a Disney fanatic and a Disney fan, you can still get that history that Disneyland always touts about. Well, this is where Walt walked. Uh, Yes. I was just going to say that. Oh, what a dig right there. I know Andy or Miranda are both, (laughs) one of them is going to say, this is where Walt walked. He walked here too. He did. He w- that we have the pictures, but you can do so many of the great tours as well of behind the scenes with Keys to the Kingdom, the steam train tours, backstage magic, take a VIP tour, talk to cast members. You'll find a lot of different unique things here that you can't necessarily find out in Disney in Disneyland. Yes, the attractions are a little bit different, but I think when you find kind of the heart and soul of really being immersed in a Disney vacation, Walt Disney World on the East Coast is the hands down the way to go. If, oh. if Carrie could literally pick up this really expensive mic and, and just drop, drop it, it <laughs> boom. She would. Nice, she would. nice <laughs> job, Thank Carrie. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I think oh. we need to kind Is of... it over? Did we win? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thanks, well, everybody. We know from this side that the, the West Coast is the only coast. <laughs> because I think one of Walt's last words before he passed away was, why did I do Project X? <laughs> he should have stopped right with Disneyland. Oh, and so oh, many Andy. times. Oh, so burned. many times did I hear when I met with guests that they only want to stay in Disneyland because of two things. The intimacy of the parks, the closeness of how they're together, and how the cast members are so warm and sincere and genuine. Many, many cast members I worked with had been with the parks 60, 55 years. And remember when Walt came to the parks in the morning and greeted the guests. And you don't find that in Disney World because it's only been around for 50 years. So you can't have somebody celebrating a 60th anniversary there. Just physically impossible. You can't have Disneyland a by far, hands down. Gary He's is a- the ultimate winner in this thing. Uh-huh. I'm so shocked that the West Coast ambassador picked Disneyland. I mean, <laughs> well, I, I debated picking Disney World, but I thought that'd be a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah, you it would. Might be you would lose your title, Andy. Yes. <laughs> lose your oh, title. that's right. And we, I, we I love was... Disneyland out here, and the guests that I met with and, and still talk to nowadays. <laughs> Just love the feeling of being close to be able to park hop, go you go on a ride at uh, at Disneyland, and then walk over across the the corridor to California Adventure and do another ride, and then go back and forth fairly easily. Uh, you know, when you park hop at Disney World, you're going to lose a, at least a couple of hours. Mm-hmm. I forgot too to mention I was the Walt Disney World ambassador. <laughs> So Carrie, you can't just end Andy's <laughs> oh, pitch right. with like oh, your okay. own. I'm sorry, I'm okay, sorry. let's <laughs> add that to her time. <laughs> She's just going to throw why that I don't out. like this or that either. I'm sorry. <laughs> just going to throw that out all the time. I'm an uh, ambassador. So how did we do, Marissa? Did we win that one? I mean, I'm going to say we won points on that one for sure. Yeah, you Derek, got points. You're you make, up. All right, so mine's not going to be long because uh, 
the Walt Disney World ambassador that's sitting next Sorry. to me pretty much summed it up perfectly, which is fantastic. Again, <laughs> it comes down to, honestly, for me, it's in my blood. It's Disney World. Like, it's Disney World. You win a sporting event. What do they say? I'm going to Disneyland. Oh, no, they don't. They say, I'm going to Disney <laughs> World. Disneyland. They go, uh, I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Disney World. That's the thing. Carrie said it perfectly. Again, size. It's so big. When you enter, my favorite thing, and again, people that watched uh, all the episodes, all 184 of them that we've done, know that I got married down here. And I, when I fell in love with it, I knew this is what I want to do, A, for a living, is to work for Disney. And then B, when you enter Disney World, you enter that bubble. I always say those arches, there's nothing else like it in the world. And everybody watching knows that feeling, whether you're driving in your car or whether you are on the magical express or whatever, when you see that sign that says Walt Disney world and you enter the bubble, right? You have that experience of like, I'm here. I'm away from the outside world. I've got, you know, 20 plus resort hotels to pick from a billion restaurants. I've got four theme parks. I've got two water parks. I've got everything right here in the bubble. Um, so that to me, and yes, I'm a little biased because again, I got married here. I have not been to Disneyland and I will give credit since I was, I think like seven or eight years old. So it's been a long time, but I know for a fact that I've heard people say, and again, don't get mad, but I've heard people Ooh. say <laughs> the difference is there is no bubble there, right? Like you see Disneyland and it's all of a sudden it's you're driving down the expressway and I know, and all of a sudden, Boom, there's Disneyland. And the real world is right there. In Disney World, you enter that bubble. You're greeted every single visit by a Walt Disney World ambassador. That's right here. <laughs> not, not me, though. Not anymore. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my plea is I say, I'm with Carrie. I say, team Walt Disney World. All right. Here we go. Stop. Here we so go. So stop. Okay. I have to get my so here we go. This is the Peace Day Resistance. Yeah, yeah. Right here now. we go. Okay. Well, Derek, since you said you haven't been there since you were seven... <laughs> Let me just walk you through a day at Disneyland, okay? So you walk in, and you're walking down Main Street, and you walk by the firehouse, right? And you look above, and you see the light up in the window. And that's been turned on since the day Walt Disney passed away. And cast member history is that when Walt was staying there in the parks, because he had his own apartment there, he would turn that on every time he was staying there. I mean, imagine being a cast member walking around and seeing that light on in those days and knowing that Walt Disney is here, right? You go to the train car and you go to the front of the train car and there's Lillian's own train car with her coat. Like, it's still there, everything. Because why, why do they make the train? Because the Disneys love traveling like in this elegant style and you literally have Walt and Lillian's like own special car, nothing's changed. But Andy, you have made the point that I was gonna make. It's not about the size. It's not about the bubble. <laughs> it's about the experience, right? So the cast members. My second day working at Disneyland, I go into the break room. Now, back in the day, if you go to like kind of character history, the characters and entertainers, they had literally a circus tent for the characters to go into. I mean, a circus tent turned into the greatest entertainment company in the entire world. How amazing, right? But it all started there in the orange groves in a circus tent. But the day that I started, actually it was second day in, it, within the entertainment character department, I go into the break room and I meet Bob. And Bob started the year that Walt Disney passed away. So I mean, there's cast members working there that were there with Walt Disney. Now that won't always be that way, right? That generation is fading out. But the fact that I got to work there with cast members who would tell me stories about Walt, I mean, it was the coolest thing. To that, Like when I go to Disneyland, my heart just kind of explodes because not only am I walking in Disney history, but I'm walking with cast members who were there since the beginning, who have these rich, incredible stories. And I remember Bob telling me that we are not here for a job. We are here to spread the magic. And if you go to Disneyland, you might see Bob walking around every now and then. Um, mm -hmm. he, he tends to be friends with the people in the Hundred Acre Woods. <laughs> Sad droopy ears, if you're getting where I'm hinting with that. Whoa, I, but hold on. This, is, this is before there was rules of where characters should be, right? Mm -hmm. Or certain set times. It was just this magical experience of like these cast members banded together to make Walt's dream happen. Mm -hmm. And those cast members are still there. And you can just 
feel it. It's mm-hmm. tangible yeah. when you get to know the cast there and the stories. And I think, too, what's really unique about the cast is because it's such a small environment, Disney can be super, super picky on the Disneyland side. Not saying anything different from the cast in Walt Disney World because it's fantastic, but it's so much smaller. So it's such an elite group of cast members that make it into the West Coast version. And I will tell you just from like knowing people with annual passes when I used to work there, the guests that come into Disneyland as cast members, they're your family. Mm-hmm. Like these are people who you come back and you know like little Jimmy's going to be sitting in this corner of the parade route every day. And you know that little Susie's going to meet you afterward. And that's just like there – it's this whole strange sense because it is so small – where you have that family. I will give you that because I've heard stories and I've seen news stories about it mm-hmm. to where it's like, here's so-and-so's 5,000th visit to like yeah. Disneyland and everybody knows yeah. them. Or, or if generations something happened, of people work yeah. at Disneyland. Yeah. yeah. So I'll... I'll it's such a hard game too. I'll, I know. <laughs> so, so for those reasons. <laughs> yes. Oh, and you know what's interesting? So I had actually um, messaged Bob, who I had met on mm-hmm. my second day in, and I said, hey, so give me some, some tips yeah. on what I should do for this. And he said... <laughs> You know, he was just giving me some Disney history. So Project X, yeah. do you know where it was originally planned for, where Walt originally wanted it to be? Anyone? Was, I want to say St. Louis. It was originally not the Midwest. Florida, right? It was really not, this, not the New States. Orleans. Um, oh, what? I did not yeah. know New Orleans. I thought it was more so like he, want, he okay. loved the feel of New Orleans. Yeah, so you can see New Orleans, Orleans Square, Square yes. at Disneyland, mm-hmm. right. Port Orleans at Disney World. Yeah. But he wanted, and so they even, so Bob was a manager at the time they were developing mm-hmm. that. So they wanted, they had a whole idea of, well, we'll do a cruise line Mm -hmm. and our cruises can dock right there because New Orleans has a cruise port and we'll have this whole environment of like the cruise docking right there with the theme park. But right then at that time, New Orleans obviously was already a tourist destination. So politically they wanted to charge way more. And Disney was like, well, we can't afford that. And they Mm -hmm. were like, well, we don't actually need you. (laughs) Right. We're going to find some swamp land (laughs) in Florida. Right. Some swamp land in Louisiana. (laughs) We need to get you out to Disneyland too. Because yeah. I do have to. Go. And Bob just told me that he would prefer to run around 28,000 acres ah. as opposed to being stuck at uh, Disneyland. Two, two parks, yeah. yeah. There but we no, go. There's so many special things, though, I know that, um, you know, and we all have a million memories, right, right as far as w- whichever park you're coming to. And I always think about the special, the cast members, as well as Marissa brought up. And when I was an ambassador in 2008, we sometimes would do like a job shadow. And so we might shadow like the front desk of a resort or a custodial team or an attractions or, um, you know, you could dress, we got to dress up like the Haunted Mansion cast for Halloween and have the makeup done. And it was super fun. But one of the most impactful shadows we did was we shadowed the team that does the the, um, electrical water pageant parade at night. I love that. Right? And 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 it's a staple here too if we talk about tradition do you guys have one of those andy oh that's right you don't that's right (laughs) yeah well ours has been around since october 1st 1971 it was it's an original Mm -hmm. and what i love about this team is first of all it was all men who was operating it and and it was myself and tc newman she was the other ambassador and they had a cake for us to come in and they had public sandwiches for us they like treated us to dinner and dessert it was just the sweetest thing in the whole world and then and we didn't know that we were like we thought we're just coming here to we dressed up like a boat captain and showed up and so we had dinner and dessert and then we we load onto these barges and, and tc's on one and i'm on the other and we i put on these big headphones and i'm chit-chatting with with my my driver and he said you're gonna get to you know flick on and off the switch and i was like the the um the dragon like the one i think it was or the dinosaur the you dinosaur. got to turn it on yes i got oh, to cool. wink it at the end like they give like a little like wink because oh. they have so many guests who come specifically did you do that again <laughs> Yes, a little wink. But they have guests that will literally like line up at every trip at the side of the beach and they'll yell out to them and and a cheer for them because they said we're really like Fantasmic 2 they're one of the only shows that doesn't get that applause mm-hmm. yeah. that every other show gets yeah, right? right and so they said we kind of had that disconnect at first but then the guests just fell in love with this electrical water pageant parade and so we're out there and we're, we're timing it perfectly and the gentleman the cast member he said I've been doing this for I think he was well over uh, 25 years at the time and he said through rain cold you know the florida cold it does get cold here <laughs> christmas eve new year's eve he said we're out here all by ourselves because the show must go on yeah. and at the end of it they were just such a special team they said go down and take a light bulb from it oh no Stop. and so we took a light bulb off of the off of the barge and they said no we can't do this all the time because we'll 
we have to replace the light bulbs and <laughs> that's not in the budget but you two can go down we each took a light bulb off and we walked away with 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 like a big christmas light bulb from oh, the electrical cool. water tell project. me you still have it i do of oh, course good. oh yes i mean it was so it's special not like Sue. <laughs> <laughs> <What's> that? <laughs> yeah, that's the prize for this month it's carrie's the light bulb, light bulb. <laughs> right? yeah oh no it's not the prize but i we could try to get you one if i could follow that team again and yeah. go back and take that it. So but it was cool. wonderful. So I think the cast members too is just like, you know, you think about all the positions here at Disney and backstage and on stage and like they're a little bit of both. And yeah. I always think about them when I think about the night falling or if it rains out or a holiday, I'm like, that, God love that team. Right. They're out there turning the lights on, That's going so cool. all around Bay Lake. And there's people that just, the guests that just follow them and that's their that's their kiss goodnight. And that's what's so cool. Yeah. Andy, what's your favorite memory, if you have one, at Disneyland? Well, I mean, November 16th, 2002, oh. when we had our fairy tale wedding. Oh. And, uh, you know, a small, intimate uh, family gathering with about 125 guests. <laughs> and I remember distinctly watching uh, my fiance at the time come in on the glass coach pulled with uh, four white horses and four trumpeteers and it just took my breath away and uh to be able to experience that in the rose garden that walt planned and built uh and just having a marriage there and spending time with the weekend with the family going to the parks having meals and just being around in in one of the iconic places in america is just the memory I have. And uh, every year when we lead up to our anniversary, we always talk about what we want to do. And uh, heading to Walt Di to Disneyland is one of the places we always consider on our list. So so That's where, right. Andy, because I'm not, again, I haven't been to Disneyland since I was a fetus. Where <laughs> at Disneyland did you get married? Like where? Uh, at the Rose location? Garden, which is, uh, where is that? within the, the confines of the Disneyland Hotel. The Disneyland Hotel is made up of three unique buildings. Uh, and uh, between buildings two and three is the Rose Garden. Nice. So that's where you can you can reserve the, the pavilion and walk down and do the, the traditional fairy tale wedding. And interesting, it was fun at the end of the or after the ceremony was over and the reception was right there at the Disneyland Hotel is where they started the, um, they had a water show. Mercy, maybe you remember that in the back corner, the little uh, dancing water show with lights. Yep. And that became the, 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 the foundation for uh, the world of color over at California Venture. And there's just thousands of experiences there and the unique um, uh, suites that they have in the Disneyland Hotel that you can rent and just so many just different moments that you can experience. But the one I, I'll never forget is the fairy tale wedding that we had uh, on the confines of the Disney property where Walt started and should have never expanded on. <laughs> oh, that was some that shade. There's a real dig there. Was, wow. you, and the winner of that segment. You is. had me until then, oh. Andy. <laughs> He's not the winner. First of all, let me just throw in here, Andy. I love it. Your wedding sounds amazing, and congratulations. Um, I got married at Walt Disney World. Oh, so my memory, yeah, no. yeah, battle, of the, battle the of the weddings. Wow. I'm staring at Andy right now across the screen. <laughs> so <laughs> you, you've got spirit. Yes, I do. No. So. <laughs> This, I can tell my wedding, when, that's my obviously my best memory ever is we were going to get married. I married my high school sweetheart. We just celebrated 25 years, but we were going to get married back in Northwest Indiana and do the huge wedding with, you know, 200, 300 people. And all of a sudden we realized that Disney World just opened up a wedding pavilion. So as nice as I'm sure the Rose Garden was, this was a fully dedicated wedding pavilion with right out the back, you see Cinderella Castle right there. So we said we should look into getting married at Walt Disney World. And we thought it was crazy. Um, and we did it. So we called up a wedding planner. Um, she booked our honeymoon and the wedding. We had a little champagne cake reception at the Grand Floridian on a balcony. Beautiful. We had some flowers. We had a violinist. We had not 125 people. We had, I think, a total of 10 or maybe 12 people there. Uh, so it was very intimate. It was very small. We were one of the first, I think, 50 people or 100 to get married there at the wedding pavilion. And this is a story that people have asked me because I've told the story many times, like how cheap my wedding was, including <laughs> yeah. my honeymoon, everything. I will tell you what it was. My wedding with oh. everything I just, and honeymoon for five nights at the Wilderness Lodge in 
Uh, honeymoon Suite. They don't have many more because now it's Copper Creek. Oh. Shameless plug. Uh, <laughs> now it's Copper Creek. But the wet, everything included, everything was it in park tickets, all that, because I was not a cast member at the time. Uh-huh. Everything was $4,500. Oh for everything. What? So Derek's favorite memory oh is not so much getting gosh. married there. It's how much it's he how saved how much on that he saved. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so obviously that's my favorite memory. Uh, Andy, I would love to see some of your uh, wedding pictures next time we're together. Hopefully you know what? that we'll will be sometime. We'll put some on the show. Yeah, let's put oh, some on the show. Oh, yes. oh, Andy, send us your wedding pictures. Yeah. So When you had that full head of hair. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, when I look at like Disneyland memory, so my grandmother, my Nana, kind of, she was the hierarchy of the family of like when it came to music or entertainment. So she actually grew up ice skating, but I think she kind of instilled this magical feeling of like what entertainment means to our family. And so we would grow up always going to Disneyland and that was a big deal for her. And so as she got older, she couldn't go to the parks with us anymore because it was just too much work for her to come and go and do all day in the parks. Uh, But I remember I had graduated from college and I was in the parades at the time and I was sitting in the front of the parade with a wand, if that gives you any (laughs) hint of like my role in that parade. Uh, But we convinced (laughs) Nana to come out for my college graduation and then we said, you know what, we'll keep it really simple. We're going to stay at the Grand Californian and then you can just come for the parade. And so she came for the parade and she sat, I have a picture, I'll put it in the show, but she sat like right up here on a side bench and I remember sitting in the, because I was in the very front of the parade. And so I remember sitting in the very front of the parade. And as I turn the corner, and Nana just starts. Oh, just. And I'm yeah. sitting there just trying to hold it all together because I am trying to do this show for Nana. Because this is like, this is the purpose. And it was actually, it was the last time that I had ever performed that parade because I had graduated and was going to go work for Disney Cruise Line. So it was my final day in the parade. It was Nana's chance to experience Disney magic on a totally different mm-hmm. level. And it was Nana's last trip ever to Disneyland. Oh. But oh my God. it's a soup for me. Mm-hmm. Like, again, it's those kind of memories Special. that mm-hmm. just that will always live in that park mm-hmm. for me. So mm-hmm. God, Between you and Andy, I'm sliding over to Team Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> After your no, memory. No, you're no, I'm not. not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Carrie just kicked me underneath the table. <laughs> Derek, if you want to bring your family out here, uh, we will put you up in the Barry Villas. Yeah, there and we go. And it's only it's only about fifteen points a night <laughs> oh, the depending on the village. season. Uh-huh. And there's no differentiation between Friday and Saturday. It's all the same. <laughs> I think I'm out of points. Is Suddenly, there anyone Andy I can contact to get more emails, points? Right? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's gonna be like, I'm looking on your website. I don't, I don't see, see the, the Barry yeah. the Andy the Barry, Barry accommodation. The Toy Story Suite. It's right. the sixteenth villa. There we go. Sixteenth <laughs> resort. Coming soon. Resale points welcome. Yeah, yeah. You know, you could probably rent points too. Too, DVC rentals. Never mind. You know what <laughs> it is. Yeah, everyone shameless working plug. in shameless. We are plug. not in sales. Are How we? would I know? And, and, and if you wanted to buy them, you could finance them. With I, no, there you yeah. go. I was just gonna say, yeah, perfect. See, uh, <laughs> even though we're thousands of miles away, we all share one similar brain: mm-hmm. the world of DVC brain. The world of DVC do. brain. The world. I know. <laughs> oh, is that my cue? Do not I get to yet. Sing? No. No, but no. here is our cue because we do have a long-standing yes, yes. tradition. Mm-hmm. So, Andy, we are gonna put you in the hot seat because we have a long-standing tradition of this or that. that. Gotta be this or that. (laughs) All right, Andy, are you ready? I am ready. This or that. This is a very special Disneyland edition of this or that. So we need to make sure that you know the rules. Because again, this is 181st time. Further. (laughs) 181st time that we played this game. Uh, So Andy, there's no explanation needed. You simply have to pick one. You can't try to justify your answers in any way, shape, or form. You're an amazing salesperson. You like to talk. You cannot talk. You simply have to answer the questions. I think Andy will be good at this. Ready? So who wants to start asking Andy? Go ahead, Derek. You start. I am? Yes. Mr. Barry, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Disneyland Park or Disney's California Adventure? Disneyland Park. Disney's Grand Californian? Or the Disneyland Hotel? Grand Californian. Mickey-shaped beignets? Oh, wait. Do you like them original, or do you like them holiday-themed, where they're flavored? Uh, Flavored. Haunted Mansion, OG style, Mm -hmm. original, Mm -hmm. or do you like when it's the Nightmare Before Christmas? Nightmare Before Christmas. (gasps) Dole Whip from 
the Tiki Juice Bar or the Tropical Hideaway? Oh my gosh, the Dole Whip. But no, where do you like it from? Oh, the, uh, Tiki Tiki Bar. Tiki. I don't know where either of those places are. So, <laughs> you're <a> fetus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long, long time ago. All right, Carrie. Yes. Oh, okay. Go. All right, Andy. I'm gonna pick it up. So, um, it's a small world. OG style or <laughs> holiday overlay? Mm, holiday overlay. Man. Holiday overlay, yes. More iconic, It's a Small World or Disneyland Ooh. Railroad? It's a Small World. Cars Land or Pixar Pier? Cars Ooh. Land. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> We're not supposed to talk, Marissa. Sorry. <laughs> See how hard this is? That one, she was waiting I for know. that one. She I know, I really like, was. If I've Andy been picks Pixar Pier, I swear to I'm God. I'm going to start throwing <laughs> cars at you. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for Marissa to drop so I could tell her to. you're not supposed to talk during oh. this or that because neither am I. Well, I can't explain why I like it, but I will later if I have. To. Yeah, yeah. I always like it when we can explain it. That's so not I'm not allowed game. to. I, know, I like explaining this or that. Um, better character meet and greet, Oswald or Mickey Mouse? Ooh. Uh, Mickey. Jungle Cruise or Indiana Jones? Jungle Cruise. Blue Bayou or Napa Rose? Monte Cristo. Napa Rose. Disneyland Hotel or Grand California? We did that. So did I that. think that one, I'll throw I'm in one. I'm still going to pick the Grand California. Oh, we um, did. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're trying to get her to change your answer. <laughs> Electric, yeah, right. Let me switch this to win. Um, electrical oh. Parade or Phantasmic? <laughs> What was the first one, Marissa? Electrical, Electrical parade, parade or Fantasmic? Ooh. Fantasmic. That rounds right out answer. this or that. <laughs> you did very good, Andy. This is tough. I'm impressed. Did and- we win? <laughs> you are the proud winner of an add on item t shirt. Andy gets a t shirt. And again, for those of you who would love one of these t shirts, yes. make sure you are leaving us a comment. And we'd like to see who actually won this battle. So right. let us know which one you think won. Mm-hmm. Is it Disneyland or Disney World and why? Right? Mm-hmm. And if you do that, make sure you email us info at yes. worldofdvc.com. Let us know your name, your t shirt size, mm-hmm. and your mailing address. And we will send one your way. We'll send one your way. But before we finish off, Andy, one of the things we love to ask our guests whenever they come here on the show is moving forward, right? So we looked at kind of a rough year in 2020 when it came to the themes parks, especially Disneyland. It was closed for, what, the entire year? Gosh, mm-hmm. yes. So, I mean, mm-hmm. moving forward, 2021 is a big year yeah. for Disneyland. So what are you looking forward to most now with the reopening and kind of all of that coming back? I am looking forward to visiting the Avengers campus where I can discover, recruit, and train the next generation (laughs) of superheroes that will be modeled after myself, Captain America. (laughs) And now he's going to throw in a plug and say, does Disney World have an Avengers campus? Uh (laughs) Does Disney World have an (laughs) Avengers campus? Or Cars Land. Uh, All right. right. We're not getting back (laughs) into it again. We're done with this game. (laughs) Done. (laughs) No more. (laughs) Leave happy. Leave Mm -hmm. happy. Oh, did you hear that? (gasps) You know what that time means. Is it that time? It is. Let me get my jammies. Let's get cozy (laughs) because it's story Story time time with with Sue. Sue. And Sue, we're going to need a tiebreaker because we have two against two. So (gasps) Sue, Sue, bring it home. Is it Disneyland or Disney World? Let's see. Welcome to Storytime with Sue. And I'm going to be the tiebreaker on this one. Disneyland, Disney World. My vote, Disneyland. And let me tell you why. Disneyland is where I went for my honeymoon. And it was the first time ever going to a Disney theme park in my entire life. My husband and I had looked at different places to go honeymooning and we were going to take a New England road trip. And then we sat down one night and said, if you could go any place in the world, where would it be? And we wrote down on a piece of paper and we exchanged it and it both said Disney. (laughs) So both of us wanted to go to Disney. Well, we got married on October 2nd, 1971. Disney World opened October 1st. So we thought, "Eh, it's gonna be too crowded. We'll go to California. And what a trip it was to be able to go to California, have the pilot divert the plane over Niagara Falls so we could see Niagara Falls as a honeymoon couple. We got and landed in LAX 
and the pilot had us come off first and formed a receiving line so everyone could congratulate us. So the magic started right then and there. And then when we got to the honeymoon suite, it was beautiful. And we could see into Disney land itself. We could see the monorail, it was wonderful. So the next day we went and we got our hats made up for us with our names on them. We proudly wore them. And the first breakfast we had as husband and wife was over at what looked like the Crystal Palace to me. And we sat down and my husband came out with this Mickey Mouse pancake. It was beautiful. It was a big pancake with the ears on it and it had grapefruit for a mouth and it had grapes for the eyes. It was a Mickey Mouse pancake and I was so excited. And you know, he made that pancake for me every anniversary for breakfast. And it was just something that stuck to both of us. So Disneyland was special. The first attraction we went on was Peter Pan. And my gosh, to be on Peter Pan and to go over London, it, it, it was phenomenal. We just couldn't believe we were flying. We were actually flying. And to this day, it's my favorite ride. Disneyland's version, not Disney World's. It's a little on the short side. But the differences over there, you walk down Main Street and you felt Walt's presence. You could feel it. He walked here, he worked here. Um, it, you talk to cast members and it was like family. They just truly had that Disney heritage in them. And it was just a totally different atmosphere. And rides like Alice in Wonderland, uh, Mr. Toad, Pinocchio, things that we don't have at Disney World were so special to be there. But keep in mind back then, the park was only open four days a week. That's it, four days. So we had to find something to do the other three days a week. And we went elsewhere, Knott's Berry Farm, cute, but it wasn't Disney. Um, we went over to Universal, cute, but it wasn't Disney. And then we saw the Queen Mary, nice, but it wasn't Disney. <laughs> so those four days at Disney were just so precious. And when we were there, um, and I'm still trying to find some of my honeymoon pictures because they're all slides, but you dressed. Back then you dressed. So it was linen pantsuits in the heat. No jeans, no shorts, no sandals. As a matter of fact, little heels walking the park. And um, it was just beautiful to be able to see Walt, that man I met back at the World's Fair and what he did and to be married and to have this experience that I was a child again. It was just magical. And to this day, that's why I love Disneyland. So it's time to go to sleep, sweet dreams, and may pixie dust fill your dreams. Good night. Oh, oh Sue, that was awesome. Oh, she's oh my so goodness. Great. I love story time with Sue. Me too. I love it. Well, guys, finishing off, again, if you are looking to finance your DVC contract, again, check out the most beautiful upgrade to a website, <laughs> monerafinancial.com. And, of course, if you are looking to buy or sell a DVC contract, Andy, where should they go? The DVCresalemarket.com website. Perfect. There we go. Wonderful. But and what for, if I'm not ready to buy, Carrie? Where not, would I possibly go? If you're not ready to buy, I'm so glad you asked. Our sparkly new website, dvcrentalstore.com, whether you want to rent out points as a guest or rent your points as a member, maybe do that cruise swap. We'd be happy to help you over at dvcrentalstore.com. We did it. Yeah. I just looked at my sheet. Another show? We did everything. Did you check off all your to do's? I checked off I'm all so my to do's. Glad. I've drank job, all the coffee Gary. from the greatest, <laughs> the greatest dad in the galaxy. Dad in the... We're glad you're back. Thanks. Yeah. I'm glad yes. you're here. I miss nice you guys. Yeah. But most importantly, you Andy, I would give yes. you a hug, but you're thousands of miles away and it's like 2 a.m. Andy, We're thank you for joining us so darn early in the morning. Yes. Thanks for having me. Great Andy, to see you. Andy, it was so awesome to have you. It really, really is. It was just fantastic. And I love that whole rivalry. It almost makes me kind of want to go to Disneyland. I'm ready. He's so giving up the title it's not even not. funny i said kind of want to go kind of want to uh -huh. go yeah oh, oh, hold on hold on there's one last thing i see it there's one last thing we have to do yeah our long Andy, standing tradition <laughs> our we're long... going 
to Disneyland. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no I mean, it. we no, won, right? <laughs> Sue, Sue pushed us Derek over the edge. Derek just had right? the largest sale in the company history. <laughs> <laughs> Disneyland. Disneyland. Stop. 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 Disney World. Stop it. Okay. I'm not ruin okay. our long standing tradition. In all seriousness, <laughs> yes. we do have one more thing to do. Yes. Thank you for watching. And stay safe, stay magical, and we'll, we'll see, see you real, real soon. soon. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Nice ears, Andy. Yes, I love them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Please remove your headphones, step back into reality, have a magical day, and we'll see you real soon. Thank you.